Hey, hello and welcome to today's GFG problem of the day. Brothers from different routes. Let's see what the problem is to say. Given two BSTs containing N1 and N2 distinct nodes respectively and given a value X, your task is to complete the function count pairs that returns a count of all pairs. A, B, where A belongs to one BST and B belongs to another BST such that A plus B equal to X. So what the problem uh, is trying to say is, uh, let's see through an example. So there'll be two BSTs given, okay, uh, as an input and another input will be X, right, X. So what we want to do is we want to find uh, a such a, we want to find pairs, right? Whose, whose sum will be equal to X, whose sum will be equal to X and okay. And, and given a should be from one BST and B should be from another BST. Okay. So this is the, uh, this is what the problem is asking. So if you see, right, so, so, so X equal to 16 in this case. So what are the, what are some of the pairs here? 5 and 11 would be one pair, right? 6 and 10 would be another, right? 8 and 8 would be one more pair. So there are three pairs. You have to return the count of such pairs, right? Whose sum is equal to X, right? And A and B has to be in the respective BSTs, okay? So there are a lot of uh, solutions to this uh, problem, right? So let's see one of the one of the, we can say, uh, naive approaches, right? So quickly, uh, so I'll walk you through one of the naive solutions, right? So, so what we'll do here is, uh, right? So here, uh, one of the solution can be, one of the solution can be, uh, we'll do in order traversal of uh, one of this BST, okay, right? And we'll go till here, right? Okay. And then what we'll do, we will sub will in order to find this is if we consider this a as a right. So what we'll do, we'll do 16 minus 2, right, 14, and then we'll search in this BST whether there is uh, uh, 14 is present or not, right? If it is present, we'll increment the count. So if you see, if you see here, right? If you see here, here we are doing in order traversal of root one. If you see here, so what we are doing, we are going first to the left, right? left right and then and then we are going to the right definitely and in in the middle of this two calls right what we are searching right once we go root one dot left right so if we come here if in this case if we come if we go to the left five left right left of five left of three left of two and once we reach right when we go to the left of two we'll come here right right uh, which will be null and then we'll return and then we'll come here our pointer will come here right so what we uh, here root one dot data will be two right root one one dot data will be two and then what we are doing we are will be searching we'll be searching if you see here here right x minus root one dot data we are doing root one dot data so what is x x is 16 minus 2 equal to 14 right x minus uh, equal to 14 right so we are so we'll be searching Right, we'll be searching in this root two. That is binary search two BST two in this in this tree. In this tree, we'll be searching for fourteen, whether fourteen is there or not. And if you see here, this is the search function, right? So what the x is fourteen now, right? And in BST, you know, we check whether to go to the right subtree or uh, to the right subtree or to the left subtree. So if x is, for example, x uh, is fourteen here, right? So x is greater than root dot data root two dot data so we'll search in this bst right so each in each iteration the the search will be divided uh, will be um, uh, less less than half right will be uh, less than half right so this year it will take o of h right in order to search you know how to search in bst right um, if uh, x dot if x is greater than root dot data we go to the right, right subtree else we go to the left subtree right if we find the element then we will return true right so here we are fighting that if you find that such pair, if you find such pair, we are incrementing the count over here, right? And finally, we'll return the count, right? But this, what will be the time complexity here? What we are doing here is this in order traversal will take O of N, right? Because we are uh, iterating, we are going to each node, right? We are, sorry, in this case, we are going to each node, right? And then the search operation will take O of H, O of H, right? O of H. So the time complexity will be O of n into h, right? O of n into h it will be. This solution still works in uh, in for this problem. Uh, I don't know why, but yes, it still works. 
but the given time complexity is O of n, right? The given time complexity is O of n. So we have to find a better solution. Okay. So one solution, one solution can be, uh, <clears throat> let's quickly uh, jot down the example. Let's quickly jot down the example. Five, three, seven, two, four, six, eight, ten, six, fifteen, three, eight, eleven, and eighteen. So what we'll do? We'll take two stacks, right? We'll take two stacks. Okay. Stack one and stack two. What we'll do in for BST one, we'll put all the left elements. We'll iterate and we'll keep on pushing all the left elements, right? For example, here we pushed five. Then we go to the left of five, we push three. Then we go to the left of two, we push two, right? In this case, in BST two, we'll push all the right elements, right? So first we came across 10, we pushed 10. Then we went to the right uh, subtree, 15, right? Then we went to the right uh, of 15, 18, right? So our stack one, stack one and stack two contains these elements now, right? So what we'll do, we'll uh, take a peak. We'll take a peak of both these elements, right? Two plus 18 will do, right? Which gives us 20. Now, now this 20, right? This 20 will check. Is, is 20 greater than X, right? This 20 is definitely greater than X, right? This 20 is definitely greater than X. X is what? 16. X is 16 in our case. So this 20 is greater than X. What we'll do? We'll pop out this element. We'll pop out this element. Okay. And, uh, yeah, we'll pop out this element, right? And then what we are going to do is, yeah, now uh, after popping out this element 18, right? If as, as, as this 20 is greater than uh, X, we'll pop out this element 18. Now our stack will contain 10 and 15. Okay, 10 and 15. Now again, what we'll do? We will, we'll do, we'll check 2 plus 15 equal to, now the peak will take again peak, peak of both the, uh, stacks peak of both the stacks 2 plus 15 will take it comes around 17 right 17 again what we are going to do now now what we'll do is 17 is greater than x then what what we are going to do here as a sum is greater than x then we are going to pop this out we are going to pop out this element we are going to pop out 15 and we are going to ingest the left the left of 15, the left of 15. Okay, what is the left of 15? 10 and left of 15 is 11. Why Why we are, in, uh, why we are uh, pushing uh, the left of 15? Because, see, as the sum is greater, right? As the sum is greater and the left of 15 will be lesser element than, than 15, right? As it is BST, right? So it may happen that it may match, right? This As it is lesser, the sum may be lesser. 2 plus, uh, the sum may be lesser, right? The sum may be lesser because 2 plus 11, right? It is going to give less element and maybe it can be equal to X. So that is why we are going to push the left of this 15, right? So now our stack contains, our stack contains 10 and 11, right? 10 and 11, okay? Now again, what we are going to do, we are going to take the, uh, the peak of both these stacks, 2 plus 11, it is going to give 13 now. It is going to give 13. Now this sum is less than 16. So what we are going to do, what we are going to do, we are going to pop this out. Now this time, because as a sum is less, when the sum is less, we are going to pop the element from stack one. And when the sum is greater, then we are going to pop the element from stack two. Okay. So two plus 11, 13 is less than 16. So we have, we popped this out. And then what our stack contains now? Stack one contains five and three, right? Stack two contains, stack two contains what? 11 and 10, right? So now we'll take again the peak of uh, both these stacks, right? Three plus 11. What does three plus 11 do? 14, 14. So 14 again is less than 16, right? So what we are going to do? What we are going to do? We are going to pop this out, right? We are going to pop this, uh, pop this element from stack one. See again, when the sum is less than X, 
then we are going to pop element from stack one. If it is greater than uh, X, then we are going to pop uh, element from stack two, right? Now sum is less than X, we have popped three. Now when we pop out three, right? We are going to push the right of three. We are going to push the right of three to, to stack one, to stack one, right? Now our stack contains this. Why, why we are pushing right of? So because the sum is less, right? The sum is less than X. So it may happen when, so, so the element to the right of three is going to be greater than three, right? So it may happen that this sum may increase. This sum may increase, right? Which can be equal to 16. That is why we are pushing the right of uh, three, right? The right of three. Now our uh, stack contains this. We'll, we'll take pick of peak of both this stacks, four plus 11 equal to 15. Now 15, right? Four plus 11 equal to 15. Four plus 11, 15. Now again, it is less than X. Right, it is less than x, right? So what we are going to do again, we are going to pop this out. We are going to pop this out, right? We are going to pop this out. Now, if you see, we don't have anything to the right of four, so we are not going to definitely we are not uh, going to push anything, right? So now our stacks contain elements five and eleven, five and this, right? Five and this. Now we will take peak again. Five plus eleven, it is going to give us sixteen which is equivalent to, which is equivalent to X. So we'll, we are going to increment the pair. We are going to increment the pair, C and T, right? We are going to increment the pair, right? And whenever it matches, whenever it matches, uh, right? 16, 16, we are going to pop out the elements, the top elements from both the stacks, right? And what we're going to do, if we have, we are going to, in, in, in case of stack one, right? So for example, if this was the case, right? 5, 10, and 11. So we popped these two elements, right? And what we are going to do? We are going to push, push right of 5 in stack 1. So it will be 7. And in this case, in this case, we are going to push left of, left of 11. 11, 11 we removed, right? Left of 11. We don't have anything, so we won't push anything to the left of uh, 11, right? So we'll have the state of this two stacks will be this, right? And it is going to go like that. And we are going to find the pairs, right? So what we are doing here is, the intuition here is, first we are pushing the left elements of BST1 and uh, of BST1 and right elements of BST2 huh, in their respective stacks. And then if the sum is greater, we, we take peak of both the stacks. If the sum is greater, then we are going to remove we are going to remove from stack to element from stack two and if there is anything in the left if there is anything in the left right if there is anything in the left you're going to push in the stack right and we are going to follow the procedure if the if the sum is less than uh, x then we are going to remove from stack one right and we are going to write we are going to push the right whatever is the right right into from the right subtree we are going to push the element right so why we are pushing uh, the right Right, uh, because if the sum is less, right, so the right element, the right, the right child uh, uh, element will be more than the more than the current element, right? So it may happen that uh, uh, the x value may the, the sum may match to x value, and in this case, if the sum is greater, the left contains lesser. If the sum is greater, the left contains lesser element. So it may happen that the sum may match to x. So this so this is the reason, and this is the intuition behind it. And we are taking two stacks, right? S1 and S2. So our uh, uh, space complexity will be O of N. And let's see, let's do a quick walkthrough, code walkthrough, right? So you'll understand. So here, let's quickly, uh, if you see, right? If you see, we are taking two stacks here, right? And what we are doing, root one contains definitely BST one, root two. So what we are doing, we are pu pushing to stack one and then uh, we are going left, right? So we're pushing all the left elements. We're pushing all the left elements in stack one. Then we, uh, in case of uh, BST2, root 2, we are pushing all the right elements in stack 2, right? If it is, if one, either one of them is empty, definitely we are not going to find the pairs, right? So we're just going to break off, right? And then we are taking the peak of both the stacks and then we are checking. If it is, if the sum equals, if the sum equals, then we are incrementing the count. Also, we are uh, popping out both the top elements, right? And then in case of, uh, in case of, Right, BST one. We are going to push the. Uh, we are going to uh, take 
the right element because till now we have pushed all the left elements, right? So in case of uh, root one, we are going to uh, push all the, push the right element now, right? And in case of BST two, we are going to take the left element. We are going to le left because till now we have covered uh, the all the right uh, uh, nodes, right? So we have to uh, see. We have to check the complete BST, right? Complete the, the, the trees, right? So we have to also have to take the elements on the left, right? So here we are doing this. Else, else, if the sum is less, if the sum is less than x, right? So what we are, as I said, right? We are going to pop element from stack one. We are going to pop element from stack one, and we are going to go right. If there is anything, right? We are going to go right. Root one dot right, right? I have explained this. And if it is greater, then we are going to pop element from uh, the stack two, and we are going to go left in root two, top two dot left, right? And then finally, we are going to return count. So this is the solution, right? Which also adheres to the time complexity of n and o of. So we are iterating both the binary trees, right? Both the binary trees, all the nodes of the binary trees, all the elements or nodes of the binary, both the binary trees. So it is going to take o of n. And space complexity, as I said, stack we are using. So we are taking extra space of n, which is expected time complexity and space complexity. So let's submit. So the solution is accepted. Uh, I hope you've got the solution. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and please subscribe to my channel. It will motivate me. Thank you so much. Thank you.